This was the team we expected to see all season, but MSU's roller coaster year took the Spartans through peaks and valleys no one could have predicted they'd encounter. It's a great feeling, you know, especially you know with all the things that we went through this year with all the injuries and key guys being out of the lineup. I mean, it just goes to show the character of our team. As a team, we had something to prove, but we knew if we came out here and played together as a team, that, I mean, the rest would take care of itself. So, you know, we came out here and did what we said we were going to do, uh, got the win, the three wins, and, um, you know, it's time to get ready for Washington. Waiting in Spokane, a date with Delaware, but also a bracket that includes the ACC champ in Virginia, the Big East tournament champ in Providence, the Big 12 tournament champ in Iowa State, and the Big East regular season champ in Villanova. We played two number two seed teams, and both of them were vying for number one seeds, and rightfully so. I think they both, uh, you know, deserved what they got and, and could have been definitely number one seeds. So kind of gives us a barometer of where we are a little bit or where we can be. Michigan likely blew the chance they had to claim a one seed with today's loss. You know, we want to win this tournament. We understood if we won, you know, we could possibly be a one seed, but we weren't too concerned about that. We're happy with the two seed. And the two seed also keeps them close to home in Milwaukee in a bracket packed with perennial powers, Duke and Louisville, plus Kentucky and Texas. When you talk about the teams we have in our bracket, we've played great teams all year long in our conference, out of our conference. And if anything, that's prepared us for, for what's ahead. So we learned a little bit about both teams today. For Michigan, they have to play with emotion, they have to play with good execution, and their shots have to fall for them to win. For Michigan State, Harris, Dawson, and Payne all in double figures. Keith Appling controlling the pace of play and limit those second chances. That is their formula for success. And both teams take those formulas to the NCAAs. In Indianapolis, Tom Lydon, 7 Action News.